This is Divorce, Happy, and Successful, the number one spiritually focused self-empowerment podcast for divorced parents that's dedicated to helping you live the fulfilling life you deserve and experience the happiness you long for. Let's get into today's show with our host, W. Mark Watts. Hey, everybody, it's W. Mark Watts. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me for another episode of the podcast. And in today's episode, we are going to talk about the all important non negotiables in your life. Yes, there are things in your life that have to be non negotiable in order for you really to get that next level success, that next level of respect for yourself. And in order to be able to really stay on track and accomplish your goals. And that's why it's so important is because it's a key element. If you ever wonder why certain things remain in your life, why you're not able to get to that next level, that reach that, that, uh, that really that plateau or, or grasp that thing that you really want. You know, you want to really want to change the way you do, you know, you, you eat and stuff like that. You have to create some non-negotiables. And they have to be just that. You have to ink them in the spirit, ink them in your mind. They have to become part of your your body, your lifestyle, so that when you obviously uh, reach that point, you know, and everyone who knows you intimately, intimately knows if they were to ask you to ask them that question, they would know the answer to it right away. So what are my non-negotiables? I made some choices years ago and I still make some to this day. And, you know, my list hasn't changed very much over time, but you can leave it open so that if you ever want to add anything to that list, you can add some things to that list. So I remember years ago as a young man, there were a couple non-negotiables. I will not smoke anything. I don't care what it is. I will not smoke. Another one is I will not hang around anyone who could potentially harm my future, who didn't have the same interest and the same goals that I had. Because I I preach to my son all the time that one of the best things that you can ever do is hang around other people who are going where you want to go. That way you have that influence and you have that, that camaraderie with these folks that just makes it feel comfortable because you're all going in the same direction and you can all push each other and help each other instead of bringing each other down or really hurting someone in your group. I know that one non-negotiable has saved me so much trouble and heartache over the course of my life that I can't even really explain it to you. While a lot of other people are hanging around with shady people and riffraff, I never had that problem because I knew that's not what I wanted and that wasn't where I'm going. So I wanted to avoid as much of that garbage as I possibly could. I even do this in my relationship. When Danita and I got together, we started talking about things that really were important to us in relationship that are non-negotiable. And even so, that smoking thing came into our relationship non-negotiables. You know, we don't smoke. Another one we have is, and we've had to develop this over time, but we now have it where we don't go to bed mad at each other. If there's something else, something that's just bothering us, at a minimum, we have to at least communicate something about that before we go to sleep that night so that we can then continue the conversation the next day. But we don't we don't let the sun go down on any of that stuff that could be harmful to our relation to our relationship. And that's definitely work, a constant work to keep that up. But it's one thing that we know will help us keep our relationship healthy. Now, how does this really apply to you in terms of improving your post-divorce life? Number one is you've got to identify, and which I did as well, with respect to my son and my former spouse, how did I want to sh- to shape that relationship? Again, my parents had no relationship after they after they divorced. And I think it did affect me and my my sisters. So I wanted to make sure I have a non-negotiable. And that non-negotiable g- negotiable is that I cannot have a horrible relationship with my former spouse. It's a non-negotiable. 
Now, again, it takes two people to dance. So if she ever chooses to totally walk away from having a decent professional, uh, you know, above board relationship with me, there's nothing I can do. But my non-negotiable is on me. I've got to do every single thing I possibly can to make sure that I am being respectful and have a professional relationship with her and make sure that we do across the board what's best, what we really feel is best for our son, regardless of any of my personal feelings. That's my non-negotiable. So what is your non-negotiable? What is it that you really are committed to? to setting as a cornerstone in your life that you know will be good for you and good for your kids and it will be respectful and fair to your former spouse. Because again, the, the goal, the real goal at the, at the end of the day is what we have to do is we really want that improvement for ourselves and for everyone in our intimate circle that's affected by how you behave and your successes and failures in life. That's always the goal. So as you think about it, come up with one thing. Again, don't think about it too long, but give some thought to it. Come up with that one thing that you can put on your non-negotiable list. And if you already have a couple, look at adding one. So think about something that you might want to add. And it could be anything. That could help you. It could be related to maybe exercise or weight loss or finances. You want you want to make some more money or you want to expand your your relationships with individuals or you want to make new relationships. You know, any of those things come up with one. Make sure that it's rock solid and rooted in what you truly believe in and then set it down as a non-negotiable and work every day toward keeping that that uh that stable keeping that one truth for yourself and again if you fall off the wagon don't beat yourself up just get right back up because over time as you continue to reinforce that non-negotiable thing you will see that it really will start to cement itself in your life all right everybody that's all i got for you today if anything in this episode served you listen to it more than once Share it with anyone that you think it might serve as well. Check out some of the other podcast episodes and keep your eyes and ears open for the new episodes that will be coming out. Until we talk again, do the very, very best you can for yourself and your family each and every day. That will lead you to your own personal post-divorce paradise and you absolutely deserve it. Take care, everybody. I'll talk with you again soon. Bye now. You've been listening to the Divorce Happy and Successful Podcast. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to leave us a five-star rating and review on iTunes. Until next time, stay focused and keep moving forward.